what is going on guys and welcome to bootstrap tutorial in this video we're going to talk about popovers in a bootstrap so over here you can see if i click it over here on this link i have a popover that has a header and it has a content so let's jump to our uh, text editor and you can see as always i have a setup for a bootstrap and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create a link and I'm going to say that the link is, has a href attribute of a hashtag. And then we would need to write a data toggle attribute. So over here, we will write data toggle over here like this. And we would want to say that uh, the value should be pop over over here like this. And then we would need to say what type of information would be. So if you write over here title attribute, this would be the header. So over here, I would say header of a let's say popover right and after that we would need to create a data content and that would be the content so i will write data content over here that would be my uh, data content attribute and over here we would write what would be the content so this would be content of a popover right so now we have covered the link and now we can actually close it out and just say i don't know click me right but as the same as with the tooltip we actually would, we would need to add a jquery the same way because otherwise if i would be clicking nothing is happening right so again i have my script tags over here and again we pretty much would write the same thing we would say over here first we would want a all this to happen when it's actually document is loaded so we're writing document ready over here and then we want to say that this is going to be a function and then after that, we're going to pretty much say what we would want to happen, right? So over here, I'm going to put a semicolon. But over here, what I'm going to write is actually, again, I'm going to select an element. In this case, again, it's going to be a link element over here. That, that's why I'm writing a. And then instead of tooltip, I'm going to write popover. Over here like this. This is going to be my function. Like this. And if I save over here and refresh, you can see this is going to be my popover. Now let's talk about a couple of things that we can actually do with the popover. Well, first of all, it's the placement, right? Uh, right now you can see by default it's on uh, actually on the right hand side over here. However, we have a attribute and that attribute is actually pretty straightforward data placement over here like this. And here we can say where we would want it to happen, right? So I'm going to say top in this case, right? So I'm going to save it refresh and as you can click it you can see that it's not showing because it's actually on the top so let's actually make it on the bottom bottom save refresh and as i click it now you can see it, it's in the bottom and obviously if i would write it left or right or all that that would all uh, actually show where i'm actually placing this data placement right so again very very straightforward now, another thing that I can tell you is that right away we can, again, create this popover for anything, right? So over here, if I would, again, create a, I'm just going to, I don't know, uh, copy this, right? And over here, I'm going to paste it, but I'm going to change the element, right? Let's say instead of link, I'm going to create a H1, right? And again, over here, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to create H1, right? So this is going to be H1, click me, right? So now again, obviously I would need to write over here. This is gonna be heading one, and then it would work, right? So if I click over here, it says click me over here, right? And you can see that I actually was clicking on a link. So I need to figure out what I did wrong over here. So let's refresh. And you can see that now it's working over here too, right? So now this one is not working because I obviously didn't save and refresh. So now when I saved and refresh, now you can see that only header is working, right? Heading. Now, obviously, if I would go over here and actually change it to the data attribute, that uh, would be a data toggle. So if I write over here data toggle, if I would say value should be a popover. So all the uh, elements that has this attribute over here, and if I would save it over here, then both of them should work right so if i click it over here it actually doesn't work because i something messed it up oh, i didn't put it in uh, square brackets so here i need to write a square bracket over here like this and then it should work so another square bracket save it right now 
refresh and you can see that it's working over here and it's working on a heading heading uh, another thing is that by default if i click it twice you can see that popover disappears right however we can actually add a attribute and it's called data trigger fo focus and basically what would happen is that as i'm clicking anywhere on a page the popover actually would disappear right so let's change it over here first of all this data placement to the right or here like this just so we can see that we have multiple options you can see this one is going to be right this one is going to be on the top however let's add over here this data focus attribute so if i write data and then i would say trigger or here like this trigger and if i would give it a value of focus let's save and let's refresh now you can see i have a popover however if i click anywhere again you can see how popover actually disappears right and let's say that if we would want to do this uh, not only when we're cl clicking on actual element but as we're hovering over right over h1 because it kind of doesn't make sense when we are clicking on h1 you don't expect uh, whoever is coming to your website that they're going to actually going to be a clicking on h1 right so first let's add this data uh, trigger over here like this and it's not necessary i'm just showing you that we can do it obviously again over here like this and we're going to say again focus and what we would need to do is if we want over here to be uh, let's say as we're just hovering right then we would need to change this to data trigger we would need to actually change it to hover right so this is how it works so we save it over here and now just as i'm hovering you can see what, how it's actually a appearing right and then the moment i hover over right then then it disappears so obviously in this case you don't need to anymore add this data focus because the data trigger actually works as you're just hovering over this right so this is how it works and here we have a case where we just click anywhere over here away and it actually uh disappears right so again pretty easy very straightforward and again it's if you are a fan of uh let's say of these pop hours a very very nice feature uh this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next video <laughs>